Right bandits, I'm here on the Aaron Calder at Paulington. So this is along the boat length. I'm stood at peg 420 at the moment. So all the peg numbers are down on the tins in front of you. And uh, I'm just going to walk us back down the path. The path's good. So it's nice easy walking. And we're going to head back down to Crowcroft Bridge. That's where I'm parked at down there. And uh, I'll just give you a little walk at length. But supposedly from about 420 to 415 are the best pegs but they don't look to be a lot of difference it starts at about 401 at Crowcroft so just walk you back down you can see it's all fairly uniform so I don't think we need to walk this far down it's probably probably about half a mile maybe maybe a third of a mile that I've walked down here but we don't need to walk that far we can probably start at about if we fish between about I don't know, I'd say between about 408 and 413, something like that, should be okay. We'll be on the boat. It's a bit wider. It narrows off as you get down towards bridges. I'll just keep us walking through. A few more little on bank if you need any of them for your ground bait. <coughs> should be alright for a few. So down to 416 now. Quite a nice day out here, fairly mild. This is uh, Tuesday, 24th, about two o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe a little bit earlier. Got away from work on a flyer. Four fourteen. Or 13, so I'll suggest maybe that's uh, end of our peg range. We're up too far to back down to the bridge now, don't take long to walk this. Obviously, a bit, a bit harder with gear. Four twelve. Had a good rain last night as well, but the bank's fairly solid. And this is uh, 411, but there's no marker on it. Four ten. As you can tell. There's not much to pick from them. I haven't seen any fish topping. Hopefully they're all stuck down on the bottom in 12 foot of water. 409. It's only a short chuck with feeder. Nice long portal line. Four oh seven, pretty much. Uh, can I just start to narrow in now on the next one? So we'll probably leave four oh six out and start. Maybe start at four oh seven. As far as I know, there's no matches on. There's a signpost on the entry, but the last match stated on it was something like June 2018. So I've not found the tackle shop yet. But this is a shared water, so it's uh, not necessarily going to have all details of all the matches that might be on this, but I don't think it'll be fished on the 29th. So it's just narrowing off here, you can see, coming back down to Crowcroft Bridge, 404. For some reason 403 is painted on the wall. 
but I don't suggest we put these in. <laughs> Significantly narrower on these sections. Wish I'd brought a bucket, I could have scooped a mole wheel up and uh, dried it out a bit. That's a beauty there, look at that. So it accesses from under the bridge. Um, you might have to set your barrel up once you get down. You might get through, but it's fairly tight. So I'll show you that as I walk back up. You'll be all right through this section. It's uh, where you come down Ramp Front Road that might be the problem. Go back up here. A bit of a ramp. Typical as a, a padlock on gate. We might be able to get through that bit. Okay, should be fine. And that's uh, all there is on the uh, on the pegs. So well out of date. That's your lot. Just give you a view of it from over at bridge. Well, that's the that's the match length. Down to the boats. Enjoy.